Hello fellow shadows, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to talk about these talks about how originally Leia was supposed to be the last Jedi, that she was going to be the star of episode 9. Truth be told, I kind of figured she was going to be the star of episode 9, or Rise of Skywalker, because Han Solo was the star of The Force Awakens. And The Force Awakens, by the time it ended, it teased that Luke Skywalker was going to be the main star from the original trilogy cast. Keep in mind that Han Solo was the main star of the original trilogy, original trilogy cast in The Force Awakens. So after The Last Jedi figured Leia was going to be the at least planned to be the main star of the original trilogy cast. So, I guess I have like feelings since The Force Awakens, that's how they were going to do it. I mean, yeah, they didn't really do as good of a job with Luke as they could have in The Last Jedi. And I've heard that Leia was originally going to be The Last Jedi, how, well, now, I feel that she's gonna was supposed to be the original last Jedi pretty much after Luke had died, which Luke's death was lame for the damn character. But truth be told, a lot of, like there are some fans that are saying, "Well, when was she trained? When did she ever hold hold a lightsaber?" Well, they go if. Her being raised Jedi Master is true, and we could see her somehow hold a lightsaber. I feel like they could easily explain that Luke had trained Leia in the ways of the Force, the ways of holding the lightsaber and using it in the ways of the Jedi, in between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. Because about, like, what, 30-ish years between the Force Awakens and the last uh, and the Return Return of the Jedi, so in that aspect, even though I'm not saying it would be good, but in that aspect, I feel like they can kind of get away with it, so, especially if they say in the film. I mean, would I be surprised if there's flashbacks to Luke training Leia some, or highlight fits of that? Not really, but still, I I wouldn't be surprised if they said in the film, "Hey, yeah, I like L L the force of the force ghost of Luke saying, hey, I trained Leia, like a year or six months after the Battle of Endor, in the Wish of the Force.' But she decides that the Jedi way wasn't really for her. She was, who she was like our mother, and being a senator was more of a way for her personally. And, I mean, if they went there, I mean, at least they're saying that she has some force training and lightsaber training. So I'll be somewhat okay with that route. Because, yeah, they even teased in the last Saturday with the Mary Poppins. That she was kind of taught some things how to use the Force, like the ways of the Jedi and stuff like that. Just, I don't know, but I don't know how they're going to do this with them reusing old footage of Leia from like the Force Awakens, and I think they're going to use like a few old footage from. Uh, uh, the Last Jedi too, but mostly from The Force Awakens. I actually don't know how they're going to pull this off. I mean, I'm not saying that they can't. I mean, Disney has fucked up Star Wars a lot for a lot of fans since The Last Jedi. And their reaction, as in Lucasfilm's reaction, has not been the best since The Last Jedi for the people who had criticized The Last Jedi and Solo. I mean, I know a lot of fans are against 
like a CGI layout, but I have a feeling that this whole idea would have been better if they did use CGI layout. Because at least this way, they will have a bit more flexibility. I mean, maybe they'll use like 90% of uh, reshoots and like 10% of somebody, I thought what they pulled in Rogue One with Grand Moff Tarkin and Leia. Just, I heard the unused footage that J.J. Abrams going to use. It's like 8 minutes long. So, that means that Leia won't really have a big of a role in the Rise of Skywalker. So is that why they brought in Lando? So they can, in a way, replace her, like, replace Leia being a big role with Lando? Because if that's so, then... I don't know how I... Blah, 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 blah. I do not know how I feel about this. I mean, I like Lando. I like Billy Dee Williams. The Billy Dee... No offense to Donald Glover, but Billy D. Williams um, Lando is my preferred choice of Lando. And he's my favorite version of Lando. So, seeing being able to see Lando again, the original actor who plays Lando in Star Wars again, is great. Hopefully they don't really botch him up, because I do get a lot of fans criticisms of how they treated Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi. And how I always said we that I was okay with how they treated Luke Skywalker being in terms of grumpy old man Luke, partially because you saw him like the old version of him but more mature version towards the end of The Last Jedi and we got to see we were able to see him in The Rise of Skywalker. We get to see him in The Rise of Skywalker as a Force Ghost. And I don't really have an issue with Luke dying, per se, in The Last Jedi. It's just how he died is where I have an issue. Because Luke Skywalker is my favorite Jedi in period. Then comes Obi-Wan Kenobi, but Luke Skywalker is my favorite Jedi in period. And, yeah, they could have handled his character better in terms of, like, personality, because I, if no, I said I don't mind Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi in terms of, like, personality-wise as much as others. I do realize that this is not the same Luke that we've seen in the original trilogy. And there is that part of me that also, they didn't really like the little grumpy old Luke as much, either. But I was okay with him, like, prior to how he died in The Last Jedi, with being grumpy old Luke, because we still have one more movie where we could have seen Luke snap out of that mental state. So, but, with little Carrie Fisher, unfortunately, being dead... Does that mean that in the last, in the Rise of Skywalker, she's going to die as well? Like, I mean, like, what, from, like, old age? Or is, uh, Ky Kylo Ren going to pull a Anakin to Padme, if you get what I mean? Like, in Revenge of the Sith, Anakin force-choked Padme, and is Leia going to die from... A broken heart, but in a slightly different way than her mom did. I don't know. It's just... Here's my overall thing with this. Whole news that's been talking, been talking about. I don't mind... I mean, I kind of figured that they were planning to use Leia as the main lead for the original trilogy characters. Since The Force Awakens. Did I expect her to be the last Jedi? Or be able to use 
using any Jedi abilities? Yes and no. A bit more yes after the last Jedi before her death, but before Carrie Fisher's death, I mean, but like I didn't really know how they were going to use Leia prior to like this big talk, and I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if this what's been going around about Leia being a, the last Jedi would be true. But I genuinely don't know why so many people are so surprised that Leia was originally going to be like the main or original trilogy character for the last or er, for episode nine. I kind of figured, like I said, I kind of figured that since The Force Awakens. Because, yeah, The Force Awakens was Han Solo being the main original trilogy character. And towards the end of The Force Awakens, I had a sense that Luke Skywalker was going to be the main uh, character for Episode Eight, And I was right. And I figured, even from The Force Awakens, that if Luke Skywalker was going to be the main original trilogy character, or at least the one that's going to be used the most out of him, Leia, 3PO, R2, and potentially Lando, if they were going to have Lando in Episode Eight, that Luke was going to be the main original trilogy character being used for Episode Eight. Then, after that, Leia was going to be the main character for episode 9. And since, yeah, since they aren't, it just sound like they're really planning on using Leia as her main, the main character, original trilogy character for episode 9, that leaves, like, three characters that they haven't really killed off since the original trilogy. C-3PO and R2-D2, who has been in, like, what, nine of the, or, ten of the, like, what, like, twelve, st eleven out of, like, the twelve, soon to be thirteen Star Wars movies. I mean, like, the original trilogy, the prequels, the Garbage Holiday Special, and their cameo in Rogue One, and, uh, uh, and, uh, in the Clone Wars movie. The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, that's 10 at the moment. And then, yeah, The Rise of Skywalker will make 11 for the 3P on R2. And there is also Lando. There is also Lando. So that leaves three original trilogy characters that they will most like, they have an option of using for the main original trilogy lead. And I highly doubt it's going to be R2-D2 and C-3PO, especially since I love those characters. You know, uh, 3PO can be annoying at times. I love those characters, but I highly doubt that they're going to really do anything like much in The Rise of Skywalker since they didn't really do anything in The Last Jedi or The Force Awakens. So my theory is, since... They're not going to go with a CGI Leia route. And since it doesn't sound like Leia's going to be... Like... I hate to use the word significant, but... Not that not, not more significant into the story of... The Rise of Skywalker in terms of how long she's going to be in there. Lando seems like the only... Other choice. And we saw him like, what? Two trailers already, maybe or one trailer, another teaser. I don't know if it was in the first teaser. I gotta rewatch the first teaser, but you know that's just me. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm excited for to see uh, Leia and Lando. It's just my part. My concern is them bossing those two characters. Han Solo, I can't really get upset about. I mean, I can, because he was kind of like a deadbeat dad, but I wasn't really upset with how they treated Han Solo's character. Maybe I'm saying that because Harrison Ford did not want to play Han Solo anymore. Both 
Mark Hamill, I was, I can say I was disappointed to, in, at, at a certain level, with, yeah, they claim Luke off in the most stupid way for that character, and the fact that, well, pretty much we won't be able to see the Luke Skywalker that we knew from the original trilogy in the Rise of Skywalker in the Flash. We have to see him in the Force Ghost. So it would have been cool to see Luke in the Flash, at least for like what, the first 30 minutes. And then later on in the movie, become a Force Ghost. Like, they could have easily had it where Luke started race training, like, actually started race training in the like, Rise of Skywalker. Maybe get killed by, like, Kylo Ren. Re Leia has to pick up where Luke left off. And voila, but... Ah. Yeah, because... Leia, I mean, Rey did not have, really, any Jedi training in The Last Jedi. All she had was, was the Force. That was really it. And the third lesson, uh, which was about control, was in the damn deleted scene, so I can't really count that. And the second lesson wasn't really a lesson. It was like Luke's opinion about the Jedi. But, you know. Long story short, going back to closing this with, the, with this video, like the subject of the video is supposed to be, I'm not surprised... Uh, Leia was supposed to be the main lead from the original trilogy cast. Because I kind of figured this from ever since, like, I saw the Force Awakens in theaters. I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if they substituted her being the main original trilogy lead for Lando. And I'm, I can't really say I'm exactly shocked that they had plans for Leia to be in the Last Jedi. If you get what I mean. But anyways, that's my two cents on it. What do you guys think about this whole Leia news? Are you guys okay with it? Not okay with it? Or sorry, I don't know why I opened my hand when I did this. Not are you guys okay with it? Not okay with it? Or are you in the middle? Let me know in the comment section below, and may the force be with us all.